Happy Halloween from Natural Neighborhood and Natural Activist Journal. This October just may be the creepiest October ever. I want to tell you about something so, so scary, so creepy, that you won't be able to resist it. <laughs> I know some people think my Halloween outfit is scary because they're terrified of tea partiers and tea party patriots. Oh no, they're not as scary as what I'm about to tell you. Oh, and I'm not drinking tea. You never see a tea party patriot drinking tea. They're usually dumping it. I have powder in my cup. No, not gunpowder. <laughs> I have moringa leaf powder. Moringa oleifera. Look it up, moringa, M-O-R-I-N-G-A, sorry, moringa. And the oleifera part will just appear as well. Anyway, what was my point? I wanted to tell you about a couple of events coming up over the next week or two that you must attend in Connecticut. They're also going to be having these events in other parts of New England and the tri-state metropolitan New York area. But in my local area, we are going to have on October 18th in Southington, Connecticut, a talk called Agenda 21 is coming to your neighborhood. And on November 1st, the same talk will take place in Shelton, Connecticut. What is Agenda 21? It's, it's a United Nations agenda. It is something that has been around since 1992 that has slowly crept into our lives. It's in plain view, hidden in plain view. It's all around us. It's in our libraries, in our schools, in our workplaces, in our communities, in our towns. It's in every part of our lives and we don't even know it. We don't even realize it. It is so creepy, so scary, so pathetic. We have to do something about it. We must do something about it. This Agenda 21. It's even in our media, our sacred media, our local media. Who would think that our media would actually be shills for Agenda 21? I picked up even a magazine, a magazine that Natural Neighborhood should love, Natural Awakenings. Natural Awakenings, Fairfield County Edition. It was the scariest issue yet. Yes, October 2011 is the absolute most terrifying issue I have ever read. Maybe because I'm awake, as in natural awakenings. Maybe I'm more awake than ever, so things that weren't scary before, I didn't know about. Well, I looked at the cover. It's a special edition called Green Living and Blue Planet. And I wanted to see more about it. I looked inside and I was horrified, terrified at the propaganda in this magazine, at the Agenda 21 propaganda. Even in the letter from the publisher. Even the letter from the publisher. Now, I don't know if the publisher even realizes it. This, this, uh, dialogue that she's having with us, perhaps it's something that was taken off of a press release or an article and it sounded good, but I can assure you this is, well, I'll just read it. I'll read the biggest paragraph of this letter, which is paragraph five. Here goes. Tired by the country's current mistrust of government? and focus on opposition rather than accomplishment? No, I'm not tired by the current, the country's current mistrust of government. Isn't that what America is founded on? Isn't that what it means to be civic-minded? Isn't that what it means to be 
informed and awake, as in natural awakenings. I'm not tired. I'm awake. This edition offers a new perspective, a sense of hope. It provides information about some of the many Fairfield County citizens, businesses, and officials who are taking the lead, finding common ground, and working individually and collectively toward a future in which we not only survive, but thrive. Though one article cannot possibly encompass all of the green work being done, sustainable Fairfield County exemplifies some of the advancements made here and encourages each of us to do something to make a difference. I have to tell you folks, this is taken right out of the Agenda 21 playbook. It sounds reasonable, but it's propaganda. Spoken like a true natural activist Tea Party patriot. Guess I'll just have to get back to my green living by drinking my green moringa leaf. Untea. I really hope to see you at one of the Agenda 21 talks. You either need to be there or be scared. <laughs>